got our first person. I mean, this dude is so funny. I mean, yes. He, he actually behind the camera right now. Um. Um. Right now, he he behind the camera right now. He finna come up here. Um. But yeah, this man is so funny, and he don't use foul language. I mean, like he's just he so funny. He is funny, funny like, like for real. <laughs> so we gonna um, introduce him. So Juice, Juice, come on here, like, come on. He, his name is just funny. Yeah, like Juice. <laughs> you just say it, Juice. Juice. But it's Juice, the comedian. So uh, we gonna um, come up here. Okay. What's up, Juice? All right, he getting his little music set up and yeah, but in tune. it's a beautiful day out here today. It is. It's pretty nice. Cooling down. All right. How was your day? It was, it's going good. How about yours? Right, good, good, yeah, good, 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 good. Yeah, we like, yeah, just got off work. Had to come straight here because yeah. it's my second job. Yep. I mean, I'm trying to get scholarships. I'm, 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 I feel like right. 100%. How you doing? Why you feel scared? Y'all done? Why you look scared? <laughs> we done. You done? done? All right, so let's give a little interview about you. So when did you start, um, let's see here, when did you start making people laugh, including myself? Um, that's a good question. I started... Okay, the first time I did it, I was 12. Right. I was at over at Lincoln Community School at a talent show. Um, I told some corny jokes, but people thought it was funny. I was always a class clown. So my principal was like, yo, you should try stand-up. I was like, ta, yeah, right. So then when I turned 17, I started going to comedy clubs and community events and stuff like that. And just asking, like, hey, can I just get five minutes on the stage? And they like... Sure, dude, whatever, you know, because right, I was right, right. young, they was like, whatever, and then I just did my thing, and they was like, okay, we're going to have to bring you back, and then stuff happened, I got to travel a little bit, you know, right, right. I just got, got, got back from, yeah, got back from Florida the other week, so, you know, things just happened, and I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Right, that's what's gotta, up, that's what's up, so we're going to turn it over to you, yeah. and let you yeah. do your thing. Okay, Let's just like that, okay, um, what's up, y'all? Um, so, you know, I'm just gonna, since this is like a, we talk about music, I decided I'm gonna do a little music, and since we on the, the topic of, of bullying, I just wanna, I wanna do a song, cause, okay, I'm gonna be honest, so y'all know, y'all know bill collectors, right? Y'all, y'all got bill collectors in your, she say, yeah, what bills you got, what? <laughs> so you know bill collectors, so, check this out, so I just read in the paper the other day, Y'all got T-Mobile phone service, anybody? Just me? Okay, so T-Mobile phone service has been sneaking charges on people's uh, accounts, right? So now they got to give all the money back. So my bill was like $9 this month, so I was happy about that, right? But I decided I made a song. Some of y'all probably heard it from Rondo Days. If not, I'm going to do it anyways. It's a parody from my, my comedy mixtape called... Uh, Parody Kings, obviously, and so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get into these two songs, and then we just gonna we finna roll. So go ahead, mix them. Go ahead. <laughs> so if you can say these bills ain't loyal, nothing. Uh, these bills ain't loyal. Uh, I wasn't born last night. Can we turn it up? Turn it up. I want the card ain't right. So don't you take that bite, see I check my bank account and my funds kinda tight Ooh, girl you had some nerve, you thought I'd pay for dinner baby, girl you better swerve Knowing that I'm broke, still expecting me to serve, better hit it to the bar, get these three orders, baby that's real Ooh, you had some nerve, they said me whose card and I said just pay with hers See, see I looked at my wallet but I had no cash, so I told homegirl we bout to dine and dash Let's go, when a pretty girl wants you Y'all know it. Y'all know how this goes. In your pockets yeah. can't do nothing for you. Your pockets can't you. do nothing for you. What we say, what we say, uh, yeah. These bills ain't loyal. You know that automatic no, payment you no, be getting ain't. every month? Yeah. These bills ain't loyal. Uh. No, they ain't. No, they ain't. Yeah. I just went broke. We ain't broke. Why you laughing at a joke? joke? Saw my, my last, last bill had a stroke. $90. My, my last check went in smoke. smoke. Uh. See, I don't fall for the fake tricks. She said, let's see a movie. I said, Netflix. Eyes closed, praying for some money. She don't want to split the bill. Why you acting funny? Uh, she said she want to chill. She saying that it's real, right? But every time that we going out, I always pay the bill. Uh, when a pretty girl won't you. Y'all know y'all went on them dates, so you know you ain't had no money. Can't do nothing for you. 
What we say, what we say, uh, yeah. These bills ain't loyal. Man, I got the T-Mobile, the gas bill, uh, these bills ain't loyal. No, uh. they ain't, no, they ain't. Yo, so check it. Thought I had racks on racks, right? That's until I paid tax, right? Uncle Sam taking all my checks, but I want it all back. You can catch me at the mall tripping. But I ain't never big money standing. No, no, no. Free water cup, I'm sipping. Think I'm ballin', think I'm ballin', that's pretending. Hey girl, what you tellin' me? I know a Mickey D's at the street. T Mobile got my last check. I need a ride, where you tryna meet? When a pretty girl won't you? Come on, sing it with me. In your pockets, can't do nothing for ya. Dang, I'm sorry, I just paid my last What's up, what's up? These bills ain't loyal. No, they ain't, no, they ain't. Yeah, uh, these bills ain't loyal. Yo, 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 check it. I, I can't afford to focus. Money disappearing, you can call that hocus pocus. See that new Gucci sweater, I'ma have to pass. And I be shopping at the mall, but I ain't got no cash. See I'm broken in a drop antique. And I haven't made a dollar in a whole dang week. See, I'm out of luck. It really does suck. Cause we out here cracking jokes and I ain't even made a buck. What? I got a sandwich, but I can't afford a bun. Cause my bank account keeps saying I got insufficient funds. Yeah, I got a car, but that's too bad. Cause I never really drove it. Cause I can't afford the gas. Why you laughing, bruh? Please don't hate. And ladies, I hope you know I can't afford the date. Unless the dollar dollar menu is cool with you. And we can go to Mickey D's and grab a burger or two. Ooh, yes. Being broke is great. And last week, I got accepted for that section eight. So we can all have fun and still laugh and joke. But when I check my bank account, man, the junk's still broke. God damn. When a pretty girl wants you. In your pockets, what? In your pockets, can't do nothing for you. What we say, what we say, uh, yo <laughs> Just man bro, boy, you messing me up Now you laugh, not a joke Got my last bill, had a stroke oh, God. My, my last check, check when it smoke Thank you, say it These bills ain't loyal No, they ain't, no, they ain't <laughs> These bills ain't loyal No, they ain't, no, they ain't Yo, yo These, These bills, bills ain't loyal Say it one me, what? These bills ain't loyal I never been loyal. Never been loyal. Okay. I got time for one more. I got time for one more. Okay. Alright. So check this out. Check this out. I'm going to do one more song. And I'm going to leave y'all alone. But now, I love this song because it's very dear to my heart. Because if y'all all know me, I love to eat. I love to make people laugh. And I love music. In that order, right? So I figured, why not put it all into one song? So this song is very dear to me, especially the little kids, because, you know, we all like going to the corner store, right? You like going to the corner store? Of course. Y'all like going to the corner store? Exactly. So this is how the chorus go. I'm, I'm just going to speed this up. So it's going to go like this. Up all day and I'm feeling hungry. Say it. You can say it. Okay. One person. Look around, got that pocket change on me. And I'm going to be like, to the corner store. To the corner store. To the corner store. All my homies trying to go. Yeah, to the... All right, y'all get it. Y'all get it. All right, let's go make some. Are you trying to, you trying to turn up with me up here? Hey, here we go. Yeah, man. Check it. So you like hot Cheetos? Cheetos? I'm super. You like, you like hot Cheetos? Cheetos? I'm trying to go to like, the corner store. Like, no? You read my mind. Like Takis? I let go. So here we go. Uh, up all day and I'm feeling hungry. Look around, got that pocket change on me. Up all day and I'm feeling hungry. Look around, got that pocket change. Let's go. To the corner store. To the corner store. To the corner store. All my homies tryna go. Yeah. To the corner store. To the corner store. To the corner store. Is you tryna go to the corner store? To the corner store? To the corner store? Is you tryna go and have some price? Y'all tryna go with me? To the corner store? To the corner store? To the corner store? I'm go. I'm getting hungry. Don't wanna cook nothing, but I got the munchies. Let me get a bag of those hot Cheetos, Fritos, Doritos, and Fritos. Hot pockets, bag of Totino's. Spending my money like I'm at the casino. I got cash, you got snacks. Even though I'm skinny, still getting fat. Arizona drinking on that brisk, I do be sipping, smashing on them country curls, having bachelor like 15. 
favorite ice cream ever chocolate chip cookie dough whenever you go to the corner store uh, let me know Got up all day and i'm feeling hungry hey look around got that pocket change on me up all day and i'm feeling hungry look around got that pocket change on me to the corner store to the corner store to the corner store, all my homies tryna go. That's my eating face. Corner store, to the corner store, to the corner store. Is you tryna go? To the corner store, to the corner store, to the corner store. Is you tryna go? To the corner store. Alright, I'ma tell y'all what I like to eat. Okay, you ready? I'm hungry, chubby. If you tryna go at the corner store, spending lots of dough. We on EBT, so we got them racks. We roll up, eating roll ups. I'ma take them all and I ain't holding back. They sneak in every weekend to the corner store to get them snacks. Talking hot pockets, French fries, apple pies. I'll take that at a 7-Eleven on holidays. Talking Pinwood or Wale, don't care what they all say. That cashier got a toupee. Straight change, that's how I pay. Hit the store with no delay. Grabbing chips, make sure it's lays. Them snacks, they go. Gonna learn today. Ah. Up all day and I'm feeling hungry. Look around, got that pocket change on me. Up all day and I'm feeling hungry. Where we going? Where we going? I gotta hear y'all say it. Uh. To the corner store. To the corner store. To the corner store. All my homies tryna go. Yeah. To the corner store. To the corner store. To the corner store. Is you tryna go? To the corner store, to the corner store, to the corner store. Is you tryna go? To the corner store, to the corner store, to the corner store. Come on, are you tryna go? Well, that's my time. I'm Juice. Y'all can download Parody Kings on datpip.com. Support Stop Bullying Now movement. I'm gonna hand it back over to y'all. Hold on one second, one second. Okay, okay. So why is comedy so important in the community and this Stop Bullying Now movement? That's a good question. Well, in my opinion, I feel like comedy is a universal thing. I feel like um, a lot of people can come and get a laugh. Like, there's different genres that people, like, some people like, you know, action, some people like horror, but comedy is like a universal thing that everybody can come and laugh to. And the reason I really wanted to get into it is because I, I don't really like people not smiling. <laughs> you know, I'm a joy-filled person. If you know me, I'm a joy-filled person. So I'm like, I see the community. I see what's happening. Um, I used to be one of those kids who were out there, you know, just out here on the streets, not just doing crazy stuff. And now I realize, I'm like, how can I bring them back without pushing them away. And I'm like, mm-hmm. comedy is a universal thing. So I always, like when I do stuff, I want to have a message behind it. So I'm like, you're going to laugh today, but you're going you gonna to get something out of it. And right, that's right. how I feel like, you know, I'm going to get my generation back on the path. And that's why I do clean Christian comedy. Right. And that's why, you know. And I surely got something out of that today. I'm feeling <laughs> hungry. Yeah. Let's go to the corner store, y'all. Come on, come on. <laughs> I was sitting there and actually it was like in your own way you were preaching. So I want you to look in that camera and help even the church understand why comedy or even your style of comedic ministry should be welcomed in our local churches. And when I say, look, you're the church, I'm the church. Those that are believers are the church. But going into the local buildings, mm-hmm. why should you be welcome? Well, I just want to say, first of all, um, should welcome me, one, because these bills ain't loyal. That got to get paid somehow. But, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I just feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of comedy around that's, you know, raunchy. There's a lot of comedy around that is not always positive and having those couple of people who are willing to you know bring comedy in a special way with a message behind it which is it's just a universal thing because anyone can come to a comedy show you know come and get a laugh someone can come out but when there's a message behind it at the same time and it's sowing a seed at the same time 
they don't really realize it until, you know, after they're gone. Like, what did you remember from the comedy show? Oh, he said this, this, and this, and he being funny. And the, the, right. style that I, the style that I bring is more like a home style, energetic. So I talk a lot about my life and a lot of things that I see. Um, I take a lot of stuff that I see around me and I flip it into something funny. Um, so a lot of my stuff is, you know, most of it is straight off the top of the dome, but there's always a message behind it. There's always something that you can get out of it. And I just would like you guys to help me share that with the rest of the world. So. Cool. Thanks. Somebody fill me out there. Amen, brother. Amen. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's my preacher voice. But yeah. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Um, cool. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.